Hi everyone! If you didn't catch the intro video to this little spin-off series, I will recap briefly for you here. Since I've gotten some questions about Body Slide, and since it has become an indispensable tool for outfit work in Skyrim, I decided to start a new series to help you get started using the Body Slide tool. I'm still learning, so I cannot explain everything yet, but I'll be making some short and hopefully simple videos covering the following topics. These will be shorter than my Outfit Studio videos, which you're probably relieved to hear that they will still be dedicated to beginners. So I will be going slow and explaining in detail. And if that's not what you're looking for, then this series may not be for you. There is no demo mod for this Body Slide series, although we will be doing some example builds together. I will link any mods that I use for that as we get to them, in case you want to follow along. If you are not already familiar with my Outfit Studio tutorial series, please check out that playlist on my channel to learn more about how you can do all kinds of 3D modeling work for your outfits using the Body Slide and Outfit Studio mod. All right, well, let's get into it. What is Body Slide? Body Slide is a really powerful tool that will refit outfits to fit a specific body shape. It's considered the main tool of the Body Slide and Outfit Studio mod, and it's much more simple to use than Outfit Studio because the refit process is entirely automated. If you have watched some of my previous videos, you may know that I have not been enthusiastic about using Body Slide in the past. But don't get me wrong, it's a great tool. That was never the problem. It just seemed complicated to me and I was always worried about messing up my outfits. But as I've started to learn more and play around with it, I've changed my mind. It's pretty cool to be able to create any body shape you want, and there are some safety nets that you can put in place to make sure your carefully compiled collection of outfit mods doesn't get screwed up. Like me, you may be discovering that it's almost impossible to avoid using it if you want to add outfits to Skyrim or if you want to work with outfits for the game. So it's probably a good idea to become at least a little familiar with using this tool. First, let me give you a high level overview of what Body Slide is actually doing. Recall from my Outfit Studio tutorials that Skyrim requires two wearable NIFs for most outfits, a size zero version for the lowest body weight and a size one version for the highest body weight. A standard outfit mod will provide you with both of those files pre-made and ready to go. In contrast, the outfit in a body slide only mod will have just one NIF and that NIF is not actually used in the game. The body slide NIF is just a template and body slide uses that template to create the size zero and size one files whenever you click on build. To add to that, what really makes body slide great is that you can have it morph this template outfit to any shape that you want for both the low body weight setting and the high body weight setting and therefore by extension all the weights in between. You can choose pre-made body shapes like the ones that come with the CBBE mod or BHUNP variations or HIMBO variations or you can use the pre-made shapes as a starting point and adjust the shape further to whatever you like best. This is done within the body slide window by sliding little horizontal bars called sliders. And there are tons of different sliders, each one specific to a certain part of the body. For example, CBBE has 14 sliders dedicated to the shape of the butt, 24 for boobs, and 16 for legs and feet, among many, many others. Importantly, all of this works only for outfits that have been made specifically to be body slide compatible. This means you cannot use body slide with an outfit unless it has been set up as a body slide project, which generally means that outfits mod will contain a folder called Caliente Tools. For example, you can't use Body Slide with the demo mod from my Outfit Studio tutorials. 
because for an outfit to be compatible with body slide, there are very specific files that must be created and included in the outfit mod. We'll go over that in more detail in our next video. So I've already explained that body slide can be used to reshape body slide compatible outfits to whatever body shape you prefer. But body slide can also be used to create your very own custom body shape. Just like with outfits, you have to start with a body slide compatible body, like CBBE, BHUNP, or Himbo. These types of body mods come with body slide projects that include sliders for all parts of the body. By moving these sliders around, you can customize the body shape, save it as your own unique preset, and then apply it to create both a naked body and outfits that match. One final important point, body slide only creates NIFs. So it only makes a meshes folder with NIF files of usually, but not always, size zero and size one, and only for those NIFs within the outfit mod that have body slide projects. BodySlide does not provide texture files or plugin files, and it won't even touch those. So you will always need to download and activate the full outfit mod in order to have all the necessary pieces for your outfit to work in the game. And be aware that this sometimes requires you to download and activate multiple mods for the same outfit. When BodySlide creates the NIFs, they will either go directly to your Skyrim data folder and overwrite any other files that have the same file path and file name, or if you set it up this way in BodySlide, they will go to a folder that you specify. The original mods, file path, and file names will be recreated exactly as needed for the game to use the new NIFs that BodySlide has created instead of the original meshes. For this to work properly, the folder where your body slide output goes must load after the original mod in order to get the new shape in your game, and both of them must be activated in your mod manager. Alright, I think that's enough for this quick intro to body slide. I plan to cover a lot of what I've talked about here in the upcoming episodes of this series, so stay tuned if you're interested and let me know in the comments if you have something specific that you'd like to see. Thanks for joining me on this new outfit adventure. Next time, we're going to spend a little bit of time going into detail about what makes up a body slide project. Until then, happy outfitting!